Hello all heroes and welcome back to Invincible Guarding the Globe and today we've got a new nightmare event that looks like it was tailor-made for me that I am very excited to tackle today. So if we go to the events here we'll see that the new nightmare is Mark on the Toilet. If this is what Cecil's nightmare is then he needs either to get some new sleep medication or have therapy. But anyways Let's take a look at the description here. At the end of the day, our enemies really just like ruining people's good times. And the biggest Comic Con of the year is, apparently, some people's idea of a good time. I just know they'll come for this thing eventually. Let's be ready for that day. Pay attention to the character sits new simulator and choose your squad carefully, yada, yada, yada. So basically, this is a Comic Con themed event. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Uh, any, any good reason for a new nightmare to tackle is a good reason. So let's actually take a look at this nightmare because it is special for a few reasons. I've already done the first one here so I can take a look at the leader. And the leaderboard has the Burger Mart Burger as a potential reward. Or I suppose I should say parts of the Burger Mart Burger. So the Burger Mart Burger is an interesting one because it was, and so far still is, exclusively a pre-registration reward and kind of a day, kind of a week one to three reward for new players. And it's exceptionally powerful because it's got a massive full team heal and attack buff. Basically once a battle, it technically has a cooldown of 50 seconds, but uh, practically speaking, the burger gets hit once and that once can make the difference between life and death in a battle. So the good news is Burger Mart Burger parts are available. And the bad news is this really doesn't change the status quo for more recent players. The kicker with that is top 5% and below only gets five parts. And even if you somehow turbo whaled and made it all the way to number one, you're only going to get 30 parts. So it's a step in the right direction. But if you don't already have the burger, this is not going to change that for you. If you do already have the burger, if you make top 5%, you might could squeeze out uh, one upgrade. Um, but to do anything more than that, you're going to have to get to at least top 100. If you do also make it to top 100 and beyond, you can get some gems and some gold dossiers. As I have always posited, the leaderboard rewards are just little bonuses on top, and that is no different here. It's unfortunate because the Burger Mart burger is so freaking good and people probably got excited seeing it. But even the number one player, if if he didn't have it already, which I'm sure he does, it, even then you wouldn't get enough for a full set. In fact, you can only get a few upgrades max out of it. Like, let's let's compare to some of my other artifacts here. Like, we got a level four here. Okay, so it's like five. And I don't think that changes until you get up to like the very last one. So even the number one slot will at most squeeze six upgrades out of their burger. Not even enough to get up to level 10. I, I still question the artifact leaderboard stuff, but yeah, again, we're not gonna worry about that too much because once again, it's extra stuff. It's stuff on top. The real loot you wanna think about is the fact that these missions have an actual ton of XP. We've got just on this first one here, it was 120,000 XP, 2,000 hero special XP, and if we take a look at the total rewards, you can get a ton of XP, a nice chunk of hero special XP, and of course, gems, artifact XP, and the second tier of artifact XP that I forget the name of. Nope, that's not what we wanted to do. So basically, every five, you get to take a crack at gems. Nice thing is, the gems are on just the first star, and I believe that is the case for all of them, yes. So basically, you don't have to worry about missing out on the gems. As long as you do clear the stage, you will get the 100 gems all the way up to stage 40. Now, this one is a little bit shorter. It only goes up to 40. Um, and as far as the difficulty goes, it basically maxes out at Legendary Plus. So... Not as high difficulty levels as some previous GDAs, but there's one more wrinkle. A glorious, lovely wrinkle that I just am ecstatic over. 
this event has a restriction. To play in this event, you are required to use Team Team or Not of This Earth characters. Universa is not of this earth. Alan is not of this earth. Duplicate and Robot are Team Team. Um, uh, I saw that and the biggest grin was on my face as this was made for me. So basically, just to go over very briefly who you can use. Your elite characters you can use are, of course, Universa, Alan, and Battle Beast as not of this earth characters. Um, and then you can use Robot as a team team member, Adam Eve as a team team member. And then, of course, you do have some um, rare characters as well that you can use. Of course, Duplicate, who I have leveled up here. Um, Flax and Leader is an option. Damien Darkblood is an option. Rexplode is an option to represent team team. Um, and actually Martian Man as well. Even though he's an Earth Defender, um, he still does have the Not of This Earth tag. Um, so that is a character that can be used as well. Not that you really want to. You'd really want to stick with the elite characters, if at all possible. But for me, <laughs> this is fantastic. I've got almost a full team of Omnipotent Plus characters here, including an absolutely juiced Universa that I am absolutely going to throw right into the face of my opponents. I am cautiously, and I do emphasize cautiously, optimistic that I might could get to stage 40. So let's find out here. Let's get into this. I'm really hoping to score well in this one. I'm really hoping my my turbo powerful Universa carries me here. Nice start, nice start. We do have Universa up to hitting two other targets with a crit. So we have been upgrading that very nicely. Oh, Angstrom is down. Seems like we're fighting mostly criminal characters so far. I don't know if that will change at all, but nice thing about criminal characters is that they don't have anybody with immunities like Invincible or the Immortal. So we don't have to worry too much about that. So I'm expecting to have a decently easy time getting through at least the first half here. Maybe even first three quarters. Last few though, we'll see. I mean, we're just cl we're clearing through those so quick. Universa doesn't even care. Man, I saw that these were the requirements, and I, w I was just, I just knew this was gonna be a good time. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. It's unfortunate that the burger is still not technically available for anybody who didn't get it at the very beginning of the game. Because even if you got number one, you're only getting 30 parts, which is a little unfortunate. You think if you could at least get to like top 100, they just give you the artifact, but no, they don't want to do that for some reason. To this day, I don't understand it, but as I've always said, and as I try to even remind myself, the leaderboard rewards are just extra. They're not, they're not the main stuff you're there for, and you should not treat it as thus. Okay. Yeah, this, this is beyond easy right now. Yeah, Tether Tyrant. Sorry, you're not going to catch me being afraid of a Tether Tyrant. Just, just no. Yeah, no. It was just insta-kills from Universa all day, every day. All day, every day. Stage 11 here. The only one who I'm really scared of being powerful is Doc Seismic at higher levels. A higher level Doc Seismic can put out some pain in a hurry. Nice thing is, I think the fact that I've got um, Universe and Alan as flying characters, I think that keeps him at bay a little bit, because I'm pretty sure his ultimate mostly just hits grounded characters. So unless they get really punked, they should be mostly safe from an unfortunate seismic encounter, if I'm not mistaken. Angstrom is down. Getting through this easy peasy. Yeah, no, you're not, you're not going to catch me being afraid of Tether Tyrants. Just, just no. Easy. They are done. Absolutely, totally done. I am optimistic, though, about my, my leaderboard placement this time around. I feel like I'll be able to place pretty high. 
Nice. Seismic is down. We've been placing well on the other one so far. I think I'm still in top 100 on the current weekly uh, nightmare. Well, that's very nice. Splat. Noise. I'm also just ecstatic about these XP rewards because I need them. I need them desperately. So that especially is right what I want. Noise. I mean, it really was. When I saw those requirements, it's like the Hulk in Avengers Endgame. That meme where it's just like, it's like I was made for this. I mean, literally could not have been more perfect in any way. Okay. Noise, noise. Still plowing through, still plowing through. We do have two dock seismics, but they're getting cooked pretty easily. Oh yeah, no fears there. And now we're up to stage 20, halfway. Halfway. Destroy the enemy. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We very much like to see that, and we're getting a lot of gems out of this too. Lots of Maulers. Maulers could also be a problem if their skill start giving them a bunch of stats. I don't think they're receiving anything right now, though. Oh, their <laughs> seismic just freaking disappeared. Nice. Angstrom, some Tether Tyrants, and an Isotope. Yeah, no, that, uh, that's not going to stop me. That's just not. Easy. Easy. Okay. Keep on plowing through here. No stopping, no mercy. I still very much like Angstrom's animations, how he just opens portals for fists and the dinosaur to come through. It pleases me greatly. I, I like the unique animations of the ranged characters especially, because you got like... Angstrom, who summons just fists from portals. And then you've got Russ, who just kind of rows sequins along the floor. They just kind of blah, blah, blah. Like, I mean, it's technically a ranged attack, but it's just sending out sequins, which I find very amusing. Okay. Not having any trouble so far. Like, as long as Universa can do her work, that is all that matters. Easy peasy. I don't think we've had anything dip under 4,000 in terms of score yet. Oh, that was 25. Nice. Three start everything so far. Let's see if we can keep it up here. A seismic freaking launched himself. Oh, it's always so amusing to me how he's just gone. He's just one person gets close to him and he is out of there. He is 100% out of there. Okay, got a Titan there. And now we no longer have a Titan there. Titan is now Pebbles. That man is Fruity Pebbles. Okay. We got lots of Maulers and some Angstroms. Okay, now the Maulers are giving their stats. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's that's gonna be that's gonna be a situation in the future. I also thought Angst Angstrom got like a 12% lifesteal, which is kind of actually kind of crazy. I didn't know his ability could grant lifesteal. But I mean, I guess it does say random stats, so lifesteal was a stat. Technically. Technically. And it's technically not wrong. That's another nice thing about Universa is that she can stay away from the seismics when they start doing their little, little jumping abilities. So that could actually be rather detrimental. Alright, stage 30. We are cruising through. Okay, fry and die, fry and die. No problem. Literally no problem. Okay. That's 30. Can we get through the next 10 stages? Let's find out. Can Universe carry us all the way to the end? For the first time ever, can we reach the end of a Cecil's Nightmare? 
And we finally conquer the nightmare once and for all of Mark on the can. Let's find out. Easy peasy, easy peasy. Cooking, we cooking. Fry and die. Yeah, there we go. Easy. Easy peasy. Still not under 4,000. We are plowing through. Let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. Oh, I love seeing that lightning dance around. That is damage right there. Lots and lots of damage. Okay. That is 33. Can we completely... Can we perfectly clear this? That would be insane if we could. Alright, keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. Nice, nice. Oh, yep, still over 4,000. We have not dipped below 4,000 once. Okay. This is stage 35. Is this where things are going to get real? Let's find out. And we're still cooking so far. No threats yet. I do appreciate how these special Cecil's Nightmares are a little bit easier. A little, little more beginner friendly. Oh. Oh, we, we lost the third star on that one. That one took a little more effort. Let's, uh, let's, let's try that one more time just to see if maybe that was some bad luck. They're going to keep Universe and Robot in front so that they can hit with their, their range attacks as often as possible. Yeah, let's just see if maybe that was some bad luck. We're cooking, we're cooking. Maybe it was bad luck, actually. Oh, maybe that was hard to tell. With the animations, it's a little tricky. Nope. Hold on. Let's let's actually let's turn off the auto. Cause I think that is hurting me, even though auto is technically already off, but whatever. Let's see let's see if that matters. I wanna try and get the third star if at all possible. Universa frying them. Okay, okay, okay. Oh yeah, easy peasy. We just needed to get those animations out of the way. Not a problem. There we go. The perfect streak continues. Delightful. More enemies to fry. Yeah, the Maulers actually got a little bulky there for a second. With all their with all the stats they grant, they can punch above their weight pretty good. Okay, this is another one that's taking a minute. That's a dinosaur. Oh, we did not get okay, so we're we're starting to get to the point where we can't reliably three star, but that's okay. For now, I'll just be happy if we can get through 40. Which, by all accounts, I think we can if we just keep up this pace. Might put Universa and Robot in the back line, though, because we're starting to get a little spicy. Not that we're in danger, per se, but they are getting a little more face action. There's a lot going on there, my goodness. Okay... Ow. Come on. Almost there, almost there. Okay, nice. Nice, nice. Delightful. Okay, still got two stars. That is good. Let's shift just a little bit here. There we go. Okay, nobody too bulky here. Just lots of lots of range damage. Maybe that means we'll clear it quick. All right, we're, we're, we're cooking them, we're cooking them. The seismics are way all over the place. Ooh, I love seeing that arc lightning. That is tasty. Oh, get back here. Oh, you are going to be the reason I don't get two stars. Oh, oh, the score shot back up for some reason. We'll take that. Hmm. I don't quite understand how the scoring works, but I'm not going to worry about it. We still got two stars. 39. Almost to the end. For the first time ever. Like I said, the ceiling is lower on this one, so it's not quite as bad, but it's still pretty prestigious to me to to actually get through this. Universa is toe-to-toe -to -toe with Titan, but she is not worrying about it. Again with with the automatic ults. I mean it doesn't really matter, it's just weird. 
Titan is really trying to fight that fight and he is losing bad. There we go. We did not get the second star. That one took a little longer. They were bulkier, but we're not going to worry about that right now. All right. Final battle. Stage 40. We got two Titans. We got two Maulers. And we've got an Isotope. Lots of bulk. Lots and lots of bulk on this one. But I think we can get through with relative ease. Universe is doing her work, as always. Lots of, lots of heavy hits here. Lots and lots of heavy hits. Okay, Alan's doing his healing. Mmm, this one's, this one's actually pretty competitive. This last one is a fight. Need to get through some of these guys, though. Okay, big hit from Universe and some healing from Robot. That puts us ahead. Universe is still doing her work. She hasn't taken a whole lot of damage, so it looks like she's gonna... She looks like she's gonna clinch this for us. We're down to only two, but when one of those two is my 10-star Universa, that's not too bad. <laughs> not too bad. It's taking a minute, though. But we got 30 seconds, so should be fine. Boom. Oh, yeah. Easy. Easy peasy. Took a little longer because they were pretty bulky, but hey, we got the gems, and that's what really matters. And that is stage... 40 out of 40 complete, with a nice healthy 167,000. Where do we rank? Ooh, 34. Nice. I mean, we'll probably not keep that. Usually, as time goes on, you kind of start dipping lower and lower. And again, that's not an easy score to beat, but we'll probably end up in, like, top 50. Or, or top 100. We, we might dip below 50 to top 100, but we've still got a pretty good point gap between us and the 51st spot decently about 4,000 at least so hey at the very least I'm pretty sure I'm guaranteed one gold dossier and 10 burger marts um, parts there it's just it's gonna be the difference between 100 gems which I am not gonna stress over so uh, yeah that was that was wildly successful like holy cow wildly successful indeed Universa really Really put in the work on that one to an egregious degree. I guess while we're at it, we can see what we can upgrade. Ooh, we can give some upgrades to that. There we go. Nice. Make that even stronger because Universa is going to be using the body enhancement a lot. All right. And that is it. Let's just take a look at our leveling options here. Let's get Seismic leveled up a bit. Continuing on our goal of getting everybody up to... 300. Nice. Well, we'll, we'll wait. And I was, I was going to say that I can level up some of the lower people, but we'll wait and get Seismic all the way up there before doing anything else. And then as far as Universa goes, oh, we're still farming more of those molecular enhancements. I have been getting a few of the pink ones from the uh, GDA op, but it is rare. You do not always get any of the pink molecular enhancements. Which is unfortunate, because I feel like when you get to a certain point, you should at least be guaranteed a couple. But alas. So yeah, that is all we have for today. Let me know down in the comments below how this particular uh, Comic-Con themed nightmare went for you. Um, no, yeah, this one went well. This one went ridiculously well. So uh, yeah, we take those. We'll see. We'll touch base in the future. We've got about a week and some change. We'll touch base in the future to see if we're still in top 50 or if we dip down below top 100. Like I said, it's really just the difference between 100 gems, so you're not going to see me stressing over it. But hey, you never know. So yeah, with that, we shall see you all next time. Have a good one.